today's video is how to get your music on spotify apple music and all them other streaming platforms so you can get new fans new listeners and build your brand What's going on is Casey from casey-sounds.com. So the distributor we're going to be using is DistroKid. This is the easiest and the cheapest way for you to get your music out there. I've been using them. For, I've been using them for probably the last year or a bit more than that. And I uploaded my EP on there. I'm going to upload a new beat today, which I'll show you a step-by-step -step you can follow. I've used others in the past and it seems with these other ones, it, the process was a bit tedious. Whereas using DistroKid is just so much easier. It just makes your life easier. Plus you get like a nice little Spotify artist profile that you need to activate and whatnot. But it's the process is so simple it's easy it makes your life easy it doesn't even take that long as you'll see as i upload this beat to distrokid let's dive in okay so the first thing you're going to need to do is create account with distrokid quick and easy put your details in sign up you might get a verification email that says for you to activate your account once you've done that choose your your plan as you can see here from the plans you got but before you do that use the link that i've got in my description box below to get seven percent off when you sign up for the year which is a nice little saving so yeah hit the link below you can choose three different plans if you're just starting out best plan for you might be 19.99 a year which is about 15 pound if you're in the uk you can upload unlimited songs lyrics as well so you get your spotify verified check mark some artists haven't got that on their spotify page so you get that straight from the off you get 100 percent royalties you keep all your royalties unless you're collaborating with someone or producer and you've got splits you keep all your royalties so district kid ain't gonna take out a little lump sum at the end of the year doesn't work like that you pay your fee for the year collect all your royalties unless you've got other people in your team i know with some other distributors they will have us allow you to upload your music for free but they will take a percentage and you don't want to you don't want to get into all of that especially if you're doing cuts already with producers or band members so first option is musician option one artist or band name i'm on the musician plus one at the moment gives you a bit more flexibility and options it's the same unlimited songs unlimited upload unlimited songs for the year same as as the, the first plan but it's a little bit more expensive 35.99 a year so that works out to around 28 pound if you're in the uk and you also get your lyrics synced to instagram when you're doing your instagram stories and you type your name in the beat the song will come up and if it's got lyrics to the song the lyrics will come up as well which is it's like a nice feature for when you're doing your instagram stories to keep them interesting daily sales stats customizable label name so when you're uploading your beat your song you can put a label name if you've got one which i'll go through once i'll show you how to upload your music you can create a release date customizable release date which is good so you can create some anticipation and build up some hype before your actual song comes out customizable pricing collect team earnings and this is for two artists or, or bands and then you've got the third option which is a bit more pricey 80 dollars which is about 60 pound for the year this is good if you're no, if you're a label definitely worth doing all the same stuff as the musician plus with this you get to f up to f what five to a hundred artists or bands good if you're a label but i would say stick to the first or second option um i like the second option because you get to choose your date when the, when the song comes out choose your pricing as well which is cool let's dive into the next step of uploading your music but today i'm going to upload a new beat no it's not new but it's been on my website for a while yeah i just want to put it on on spotify i want to be able to hear it on instagram so uh, when I'm doing my stories and stuff so yeah and for other people as well who decide to use it as you can see you've got all these different stores that's already checked for you you've got Spotify Apple Music iTunes TikTok you can get your music on TikTok did you know that well, now you know Google Play Amazon Pandora I'm not going to read all of them but you can see here MediaNet and 150 plus smaller outlets so your music's going to be getting everywhere for $9.99 a year so we've got number of songs so you can just drop your single or you can put up an ep or an album we've got 35 songs that you could upload at once not sure how you, why you would do that but still that's an option there for you so you can take advantage of that if that's something you want to do previously released has this single been previously released no so we're gonna leave it as no band name what i like about this as well is it's got these little light bulbs here so it just tells you what's what you need to do what's important um and how to what you need to put in the boxes so you can't get, you can't really get that you can't really get confused because it's all there like for you to see and follow so uh, that's what i like about this it's just so easy to do so i'm gonna leave that as casey sands artists ready in apple music yes i'm there already artists on spotify yes so when you put your name in let's try a different name see if it changes it let's go for um what can we go for let's try skits beats i don't know why i chose skits beats 
So look, automatically it just changes it. You'll be the first name Skits Beats in Spotify. So it will tell you, if you put your name in, it will tell you whether or not you're the first name artist in Spotify. If you're not, then I don't know what will happen. Let's have a look. Let's try Stormzy. One artist named Stormzy already, so it'd probably give you an alternative. Yeah, Stormzy 1 or Stormzy 2. But keeping that as KZ Sounds, already in the Spotify release date. I'll have it released today. What's the date today? 16th. You can change your date, later date, like I said, which will allow for pre orders. If you have today's date on and then you try and click yes, let people pre order, it won't let you do that. You'll obviously have to have a, a date that's further down the line and then allow for pre-releases, uh, pre-orders, which is a, a nice little feature. So I'm gonna choose the, an image for this beat that I'm uploading called Saints and Sinners. It's on my uh, my website as well. So I'll click that. It'll tell you the dimensions that it needs to be, so you can't really go wrong, but just make sure that you are able to use the artwork that you're using. And another cool thing as well, I wanna quickly mention, on my EP, there was a, a mistake on one of the artist's names. I was able to upload the version with the correct names and that didn't take long at all. So yeah, that's another plus for DistroKid, definitely. Like I said, the light bulbs will tell you what you can and can't do. Don't increase the size of smaller images. Stores will reject artwork that contains website URLs. So don't go in there putting your, your Instagram name because you want people to follow you on Instagram. That won't work, bro. And yeah, you own this artwork. Choose your languages, primary genre. So my, mine's a beat and it's kind of like a drill beat, but I don't have the drill option on it. So it's gonna have to go under hip hop, rap, secondary genre, genre will be uh, R&B and soul. I don't think it's R&B and soul. What else could we put the drill beat under? All right, cool. So we're gonna put, we're gonna go for R&B and soul. It's just a secondary genre. It doesn't really matter too, too much. Now we're gonna move on to track one title. It tells you again how to word things. If you've got a feature on there, how you're supposed to put the features name, um, commas and featuring and. Oh, it's just it tells you everything so you, there's no reason why you will make a mistake and if you do it will just let you know that you've made a mistake because you won't be able to put it up won't be able to move to the next stage okay so this one's called saints and sinners and it says to put it in brackets if it's instrumental so that's what i'm going to do and it's telling me looks like you may be using an x explanatory reference use using words like instrumental radio edit version extended demo remix etc here's what stores require okay so i needed to put a capital the capital i on that why have i put sinners saints and sinners okay so i think i'm good with that one so we move on next step choose a file saints and sinners web file i wouldn't really put an mp3 file go for the web file because if they need to if they need to make it an mp3 i'm sure they will but the next step says songwriter i wrote this song or managed the songwriter it's an original tune another artist wrote it if it's a cover song so you can put cover songs up as well if you want to another another plus for this show kid okay so songwriter's real name music and lyrics i'm gonna go music put in the government in there um explicit lyrics no because there's no lyrics in there this is a radio edit no this is, this song is clean and it always has been so just yeah if you've got explicit lyrics in there just do what you need to do accordingly instrumental this song contains lyrics. This song is an instrumental and contains no lyrics, so that's cool. Previews, clip, start time. Let streaming services decide. Nah, let's let leave that. Let streaming services decide on that one. Um, we're gonna charge this one. Up. I say a dollar twenty nine because I think that works out to about a pound. So that's cool. Moving on to the next one, the next set of options. So it says here Instagram and Facebook free. Add this single to Instagram's music and stories. Click that because that's that's a must which lets instagram users easy to add your music to their posts it's amazing store maximizer this show could automatically deliver this single to new online stores which is a good move because if you think about it all these new ones that we don't know about that people are developing that might come out months years down the line you pay eight dollars a year and you don't have to worry about having to go in and upload your music again so it gets played on what could be the next big spotify or apple music title etc but i'm not going to click that one today shazam and iphone siri yeah definitely because reason why you want to do that say for example you're at someone hears your song and they like it they're feeding it they think who's this who's this song who's this by siri open up shazam hit shazam shazam brings up your name that's another fan listener follower who knows so yeah definitely click on that one we'll have some of that i selected youtube music as a store yes because this joke kid are going to go out their way and upload a nice little video of your song so yeah nice i like that i recorded this music and i'm authorized to sell it in stores worldwide and collect royalties yeah i'm not using any other artist name in my song titles or album title without their approval yep i've read and agreed to the terms of the distro kid distribution agreement i suggest you click that and have a quick read through i've read it 
So I'm going to click the box. So all is looking good for this release coming up. I'm putting it on for today's day and I want to see how long it takes for it to be uploaded. That's another thing as well. Playlist, getting into the Spotify playlist. If you're giving yourself, if, you, if you're trying to get into Spotify playlist, give yourself some time for the editors to have a listen to your music and decide whether or not it's, it's worthy of going into their playlist. But this is something I'm gonna do a video on as well. So yeah, be on the lookout for that video. Yeah, everything's looking good so far. I hope it's made sense. It's pretty straightforward. Once you click on the upload page, you, you just go through it one by one. So if I have kind of confused you a little bit, yes, yeah, it's, it's quite straightforward. And if you need help, this joke is really helpful. They've got a nice little YouTube page that you can click on and see frequently asked questions. Same as on the actual website as well, which is good. So I'm happy to move on with this. Um, I'm gonna click done. Wait for my album artwork to upload and the track and then uh, all is good. It says here, paste your link into website section in Instagram. So you've got a nice little hyperlink ready to go. So if you want people to be prepared for when your song is live, your beat is live, you can copy and paste that link anywhere. Share it with your friends, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. Pinterest. So that's the first part, that's the upload. Um, you've got the other page, which is my music. As you can see, that's the new Saints and Sinners instrumental that I've just uploaded. Um, Roadblocks and Detours is my EP, and there's two other. So with the Roadblocks and Detours EP, you can see that I've got other people in my team, which allows them to, to collect their royalties as well. Once they've signed up to DistroKid, they'll just get their royalties sent straight to them once they've sorted out all their bank details and whatnot, which is really good. The next section I'm gonna show you is, is Teams. On Teams, it's gives you the option to select a release um, if I wanted other people to be collecting royalties for Saints and Sinners I could click on that so I'm just going to go to the EP and click next and then it gives you the option of adding all the other people the artists or producers that are involved with that release straightforward again making your life so much more easier you ain't got to worry about sending out royalties after you've been paid by someone this makes your life so much easier so then we have stats to tell you how well your song or your beats then select an artist casey sans get access yeah so that would just take you over to your spotify page and i'm doing really well eight listeners 15 streams 27 followers keep it growing keep growing so then we go on to bank and then we go to settings. So settings is just straightforward, gives you the options of changing your account details, your credit card, your receipts, putting your lyrics on there. So yeah, that's how you upload your music to DistroKid. So you can get it distributed out to Spotify, Apple Music. As you can see, it's so straightforward and easy. I mentioned earlier, it is the cheapest option that I've used whenever I've worked with artists to put music out on these streaming platforms. So if you've got any questions, drop a comment below. Always happy to to help where I can. Make sure you hit me up on Instagram as well. I'm always dropping little gems in my stories. And don't forget to use the link below to get your 7% off your first year to make a nice little saving. If it does help, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching.